Welcome to this tapestry video tutorial. I'm Emily and today I'm going to talk you through how to set up staff permissions on your tapestry account. To do this you will need to be a manager so if you aren't one do make sure to share this video with them. You will also need to be logged into the browser version of tapestry which you can do by going to tapestryjournal.com on any browser. To access the permissions page you'll need to go to the control panel so click on your name in the top right hand corner and select control panel from the drop down. Once you're on the control panel page just select user permissions from the left hand side menu. Once you arrive on the user permissions page you'll be taken directly to the staff tab. Do make sure you're on this one and not the relatives one. Now the first thing to note when setting up user permissions is that it's not possible to set permissions for managers on your account. So if you set up individual permissions, you won't see the names of any managers included in your list of staff. We'd also recommend you get these set up as soon as you add staff to your account or if you add new staff, just to make sure that you're happy with everything that they'll be able to see and do on your account. Now on this page you'll see it's broken up into different sections depending on what feature the permissions relate to. So if I click on observations, you'll see that brings up all of the different permissions that are for that particular feature. When you look through these, you'll see at the end of the row of each permission, the default for that. So it looks like we've got most of these set to permitted. What I recommend you do is have a look at all of the different permissions you see here and see if you want to change any of these from the default. If you do, just click on the edit button. This will bring a pop-up box where you can choose what you want the default permission to be, permitted or not permitted. So if I change that to not permitted and save, you'll see that that now shows up as red and not permitted just to show you that staff won't be able to do that. If you want to set different permissions for different users, so you want most staff to be able to do something or not do something, but there's a couple of individual staffs so you will permit or not permit to do that thing. Again, you just need to click on the edit button and in the individual permissions section, select the tick box, set different permissions for some users. That will then bring up a list of all staff on your account. If you only want to see users that are active, just untick that show users that are not currently active button. So now I'm just seeing all active staff members on the account. Remember, you can't set permissions for managers, so you won't see them in this list. Right now, they're all selected as the default, but I'm going to change this for Kath, so she is permitted to do that. Once you've set those up, just click on the Save button. So here you'll see the default for this permission is not permitted, but I've set an individual permission for Kath, so she is permitted to do that. So now that you know how to set up the different permissions, I'd recommend that you go through all of them in the different sections and just make sure that they're all set up how you want on your account. I hope you found this video helpful.